fuck are you crazy? You fucking bitch. You are fucking you are fucking you are fucking you are fucking you bloody you bloody you bloody bastard bitch you fuck you fuck you fucking mother bloody fuck bitch bench hood bloody bench hood you you blunder so in early March, I asked the big question majority of people have been wondering for a while now. When are we getting a new trailer? Part 1 had a bunch of trailers and commercials behind it. You had TV spots, story trailer, the cinematic, premiere trailer, and a bunch of teasers, etc. We obviously was gonna get a trailer before the delay since there were screenshots that got pulled from the PlayStation page. Since 2016, screenshots have always been alongside new trailers, so this alludes to the fact that we were going to get a trailer before the delay was announced, but then they pulled the screenshots and how many many room. But now we got the recent unfortunate events that have transpired, so could it be that due to the leaks that the trailer they've prepared has been pushed back to close to launch or maybe launch? I wouldn't be surprised, but I also feel the way I talked about in early March in my video right there that if we compare how Naughty Dog's most recent big title Uncharted 4 was marketed it feels like they're not pushing part 2 as much. I still think the chances are high we're gonna get a trailer before launch but I also wouldn't be surprised that you know they haven't been pushing the game that much. The game is coming out in less than two months so maybe the new trailer will come out close to launch or before launch or maybe they're pushing TV spots more because it kind of neat like from a business standpoint, right? They kind of need to push this game more because the average Joe, right? The average Joe, the big casuals, they might not see trailers. They might just watch TV and they don't see trailers online. They, you know, they see shit pop up on posters. They see shit pop on, up on a TV spot. Maybe there's some people out there that haven't really thought about part two ever since it got announced in 2016. You never know. But, so, from a business standpoint, yeah, Sony Naughty Dog, they kind of need to push this more. But a part of me kind of doesn't want a new trailer. Also, for the, for, since the average Joe might not know to stay safe online. The average Joe might not know about the recent leaks, stuff like that. And they hear about the, they hear about a the trailer, they go online and they're like, oh, new trailer all of a sudden. Oh, it's almost been a year. And then, yeah, bam, boom, boom, boom. The, the, yeah, the community, how it is right now. Part of me is curious about this because apparently there's like this big backlash and quite a few people that are saying that not gonna get the game we'll see how many people actually do that when it comes out but part of me is curious like how like is it a vocal minority how big really is the backlash and all the people that are heated because they know what's gonna happen obviously i can't find out without getting spoiled so i'm gonna wait until i finish part two after I finish part 2, I'm gonna go see what the leaks were and all the fuss was about. But also, like, if you think about it, part 1 on paper, part 1 story isn't really original. I mean, another zombie game, right? But sure, the infected aren't technically zombies, but they're, they're the same concept, you know, so you can group them in there. It's like, oh, zombie apocalyptic game. The story kind of looks like there's one girl that's immune to the whole virus that can save the whole zombie world. And you gotta smuggle her across free states. It doesn't sound that interesting on paper, but the execution, you see shit along the way, like, top shit like that. That's what made it one of the best games ever, the execution. Because let's be honest, part one isn't the most original story, right? But how it was executed made it what it was. So I don't know, it's gonna be interesting after part two, see what all the fuss was about. We'll see how this affects, like, of course this is gonna affect the gaming industry in the future and be impactful. I'm curious to see to what degree, I'm not gonna lie. It's unfortunate what happened, but I hope that if it w if it's in a disgruntled employee, Naughty Dog can learn, you know, and stuff like that. If all the alleged working conditions are true, then obviously they gotta improve. We've been hearing other studios speaking up publicly and, you know, addressing this and improving. So, of course, the employees are the people that matter most. When Telltale got shut down, I wasn't saying, oh, I want the games, I want the games. I was saying people first, people first. And then you had what happened, you know, when everybody was unemployed there, you had, you know, studios reaching out and stuff like that. So that was great. That was amazing. Seeing the gaming industry unite and helping out people. If something like this happens to Naughty Dog, hopefully other studios will do the same thing. Like hire a bunch of people, help them out. Also one thing, like from what I've heard, right, the people that are not gonna get the game and are pissed at Naughty Dog and stuff like that. They're pissed at the working conditions at Naughty Dog. 
and they don't they they don't want to get the game they support the leaker right if you don't get the game all the employees that work will be for nothing all the people that have allegedly crunched a lot and have alleged working conditions that are shit all their work will be in vain i mentioned that in another video but enough rambling yeah sorry about that like i've said plenty of times we never been professional out here well to summarize real quick like i said in early march in the video there part two's marketing has kind of been lesser than previous games like part one and uncharted 4. i feel like they need to push this game more to the mainstream now more than ever since so many people online are apparently boycotting the game and stuff like that but i wouldn't be surprised if the trailer that was prepared is pushed back closer to launch or even turn into a launch trailer i would be surprised though if we didn't get a launch trailer at all i mean of course we get we gonna get a launch trailer like a tv spot when the game is out but those are my thoughts now what about yours if you do comment don't read other people's comments like share sub with the bell if you knew and there's survive and i'll see you when i see you why you fuck me i fuck you bloody